A very good day to Professor. My name is Koi Chen Yip and my piece number 271292. Now I'm going to start my presentation with background of our economic issues, which is Malaysia-China trade relations. Malaysia-China trade relations refers to the bilateral diplomatic relations between China and Malaysia. Also, Malaysia signed a consular agreement with China in 1971, which this year is the 15th anniversary of establishing diplomatic contacts between the two countries. China and Malaysia are always consistently supported and achieved mutual benefits and win-win outcomes, uh, elevating bilateral corporations to a new, le new level and achieving valuable and amazing accomplishments. In year 2020, bilateral trade volume and China's manufacturing investment in Malaysia grew by 4.2% and 10.3% respectively while Malaysia's export to China also reached a historic level. Furthermore, China and Malaysia helped each other in fighting against the pandemic COVID-19 by providing medical supplies and exchanging experience in pandemic recovery. China has highlighted vaccine cooperation with Malaysia and also engaged in extensive collaborations with vaccine purchasing, research and development, and manufacture. Moving on to importance of Malaysia-China trade relations, here, I have simplified into a few points. First, to improve country's economy. It is because individuals have been buying products from the trade partners, which has increased the money flow between Malaysia and China. The performance of uh, commodities in international trade includes large export and imports, as well as the composition of trade. Second, develop, development of technology medicines and other aspects. Each country has different strength in terms of development. Advanced items can be offered to partner countries to improve the quality of life. Third, for me, I think it is quite important, which is expansion of job opportunities. International trade nowadays can be conducted through network. Many websites are designed to sell things and can be used by individuals from all over the world, such as Alibaba website. When international sales grow, the logistical side grows as well. This resulting in more job opportunities offers to both countries' citizens. Moving on to current situations. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, stricter embargo measures have been implemented throughout the world, posing a risk to global trade in 2020. However, China continues to be Malaysia's biggest trading partner, with export increasing 12.5% to 158.6 billion ringgit. Export of steel products, mechanical and electrical products, metal manufacturers, palm oil and palm oil agriculture products, and rubber products contribute to growth. By 2020, Malaysia's total export to China will contribute for 12, for 16.2% of total exports. Moreover, China is also Malaysia's largest import source since uh, 2011 accounting for 21.5% of overall imports in 2020, amounting to 171.18 billion ringgit, which is slight decrease of 2.6% from previous year 2019. As for proposed project for Malaysia-China trade relations, we have choose Belt and Road Initiative BRI as our discussions. As part of the BRI, many Chinese state-owned and private companies have been implementing large-scale infrastructure and foreign direct investment FDI's project in the regions to promote greater connectivity between mainland China and Asians. The Malaysian government hopes to attract investment in high technology, capital-intensive and knowledge-driven industry. The government has set up a dedicated China desk in its investment promotions agency to promote FDIs. Major Chinese investment and construction con contracts in Peninsular Malaysia includes multiple airports, ports, expressway, forest city, and the Malaysia-China Guantan Industrial Park, which MCKIP. As conclusion, BRI is a commercial infrastructure investment, which is likely to open to a new era of trade and growth for economics. So that's all from me. Thank you.